So the Galaxy S24 FE is on the way as the name of the S24 FE has been spotted in certification and testing confirming that Samsung will launch the S24 FE very soon. Recently the device was spotted in a One UI test build which hints that the S24 FE might come with the latest One UI update out of the box. Many reports are stating that the Samsung Galaxy S24 FE will be powered by either the Exynos 2400 or the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset. It is worth noting that these are the same chipset used in the Galaxy S24 series. However, it is possible that this information is not accurate as seen with the S23 FE where Samsung used the older Exynos 2200 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 to reduce cost. Additionally, giving the latest CPU in the S24 FE may not make sense as it could lead users to buy the FE phone over the flagship S24. So in my opinion, Samsung may go for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for the S24 FE. With this choice, Samsung could be able to offer a powerful phone while cutting cost. The 8 Gen 2 is a still a powerhouse that can handle day-to-day -day usage smoothly. Regarding the design of the phone, some details have emerged online that may or may not convince people to buy it. Samsung has maintained a consistent design approach across its recent smartphone lineup, leading to notable confusion in the looks of both flagship and mid-range devices. With the Galaxy S24 FE positioned between these categories, it is likely to follow suit and adopt a design language similar to that of the Galaxy S23 FE. We all know how the S23 FE looks and personally I did not like the design of the S23 FE. Samsung has ruined the fan edition series by pricing it as a flagship but making it look like a mid-range phone. With the Samsung S24 FE, the company may be making the same mistake that could lead to a downfall of the FE series. While it is certain that Samsung will provide an AMOLED display on the Galaxy S24 FE but there are concerns about the size. It is probably that the device will feature a 6.4 inches display similar to its predecessor the Galaxy S23 FE and S21 FE. However, there have been a recent leak suggesting that possibility of a smaller 6.1 inches display or even a 6.7 inches display. The resolution is expected to remain a full HD plus with a dynamic AMOLED panel offering a high peak brightness and HDR10 plus support. Considering that the S23 FE has a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection, it is likely that the S23 FE will come with a Gorilla Glass Victus or Victus 2. As for now, the Galaxy S24 FE is looking good on paper. I hope the actual device will be even better and Samsung will save the FE series with the S24 FE. And we hope to see more fan edition devices in the future. So what do you think of the S24 FE? Let me know in the comments. With that being said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.